1957, the city of Charleston was running an accumulated deficit of almost a half million dollars. The city couldn't pay its bills. People were leaving Charleston in droves, and the city was well on the way to economic disaster and isolation. In 1959, a local businessman and lifelong Charleston resident, J. Palmer Gilliard, Jr., decided to run for mayor. It, that we have the city we do today, I think, in terms of its geographic boundaries of due to Palmer Gilliard. I mean, we all know that for the first time in 111 years, it was Palmer Gilliard who went west of the Ashley and who expanded the boundaries for the first time in all those years. I didn't realize it at the time, but back in 1957, when I was raising all these issues, I apparently was running for mayor then, although I did not know it, and I honestly didn't. During his 16 years as mayor, Gilliard was known as for his hard-driving energy. He paid attention to every detail of a project. He was a hands-on mayor who seemed to be everywhere. I was really struck by the fact that always he seemed like a man who was absolutely in charge. I mean, I never went to a committee meeting that Palmer Gilliard was not there. And we all used to talk about how he'd walk down the street picking up the trash, and he did that, and he was at every fire, and he was there when they were doing the construction work. Everywhere you looked, Palmer Gilliard was there. I didn't pr purport or pretend to know it all. I listened to people. And I doubt seriously if anyone can really say that in the past 12 years they have not known who is in charge. And I don't mean that. And I don't mean that that I was running it. We were running it. In 1971, the mayor made a bid to leave City Hall behind for the U.S. Capitol building. The unexpected death of Congressman Mendel Rivers brought on a special election to fill his seat. Gilliard offered himself in the Democratic primary, but lost to Rivers' namesake, Mendel Davis. He turned back to city politics and was elected to his fourth term as mayor. In 1975, he announced he would not run for mayor again. It was a decision driven in part by the hard times of recent years, the civil unrest, the strikes, and a failed congressional candidacy. In the spring of 1975, President Gerald Ford appointed him Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Navy. Gilliard served for two years in the Pentagon before the newly elected President Jimmy Carter replaced him. Gilliard and Lucy returned to their Charleston, where he served as Vice President of Ruscon Construction Company until his retirement in 1985. Charleston's my home, it's my life, and I just couldn't think of living anywhere else. 